Warmed by the campfire, Philip Kindred isn't fully aware of the threats that linger nearby. A dogman to the east prowls the low hills. But Philip is wary, reasonably so, not knowing just how much the world has turned. Well, he is weighted under ice. It's time to push through the rain. It's time to carry on. Kia ora, Legionnaires. Rikon here, and welcome back to Neo Scavenger, where, yes, to our east, we have a dogman. We also have a stranger out here to the west, who I assume is part of the DMC security. Looking at our map here, though, we are a fair ways away from the mega city gates, so I'm surprised to see one out here. So they might be unaligned for all we know. So I think a straight shot north from here would probably be the safest thing that we can do. Either that or trying to hide from the dogman. Something that I noticed as I started up today was that here under our chosen abilities, we actually have eagle eye now. So not only did our eyesight get better, it got even better than it was before. So we can see one hex further than normal and we can detect things that are hidden more easily. That paired with tracking, I think it's going to help us out quite a bit. So really, by getting that operation, I think we increased our sight by two squares because we had one shorter than normal beforehand. Yeah, okay, so we've got three moves left at this point. Oh, well, <laughs> I feel sorry for you, stranger. I feel like the dogman's probably going to be going your way. Now, we've only got one move left at this point. We could go out into the open or we could try and hide here. However, we have left tracks. Hiding our tracks costs us one move. So, hmm, maybe we just go for it. Go up the hill, two strangers. Okay, well, we're gonna see what happens. Well, the strangers are here. Let's see if we can get away with just offering a ceasefire. Hope that they are friendly, and indeed they are, which means that they are probably from the DMC. We can't see that other stranger anymore, so they might have gone for the dogman, or the dogman went for them. I'm almost tempted to hang around here and see what these DMC guards do with the Dogman. Because either they kill it, and then, hey, that's some extra meat for us, or the Dogman does some damage to them, and we might be able to pick up some equipment. First thing for us is going to be having some water. We're going to empty this out because I want to see, ah, uh, good, it is sterilized. I want to make sure that we check that before we drink each time. And something else that I've been informed is that this whole time, We've had an extra slot that we haven't been using because we have our back strapped over our shoulder, but we don't actually have anything in our backpack slot. So I believe, yeah, look at that. We can wear a plastic shopping bag on our shoulder here so we can carry even more, which is great. Now we do still have the squirrel that we need to try and slice and dice. We are going to need at least one more before we're able to make another patchwork hide. I'd like to try and see if we could focus on doing that today. So we're just going to shift into this forest if we can. Yeah, and we'll keep our eyes on them. So first of all, we're going to have to use the forest here. And then we'll see if we can put together a snare so that we can capture another squirrel. Squirrel snare. There we go. And scavenging. Let's use the snare. The loot's looking pretty good right now. I'm fine with us being more visible at the moment. And we'll use our strength to ensure that this is going to be good. And wow, wow was it good. Three squirrels. Okay, so we have a lot that we need to process here. So getting a campfire going to stay nice and warm during the day is going to be good. And we'll be able to deal with all this hunger as well. So to begin with, let's get that campfire on the go. And we're going to be using our knife here, which we might only be able to get two more tries with this. <laughs> That's our second. And the last squirrel we've got there. Oh no, sorry, we had four. We had four. There we go. But yeah, that has completely uh, destroyed our cutting tool. Now I wonder, we should probably still be able to use the meat cleaver for that, but the skinning might be a little bit more difficult. We've got four pieces of meat, we have our animal hides, and we have a little bit more crafting that we can do this turn. So, roasted meat on a stick. We're pretty much going to be doing this just again and again until it's all cooked. And there we go. Okay, we had just enough moves to do all of that. We're going to go and eat that. And I suppose I should try and keep some of it. Because we don't seem to get too much from eating a whole lot in one go. And then we'll be ending our turn. And just keeping an eye on things here. Oh, they've moved in. Okay, both of them. Dogman leader is down. Unconscious. 
I am going to want to go and check on that. It looks like they might be going after the stranger too. DMC guard shredded the dog man with the pistol. Okay, they shot it. Hot damn. Okay, let's make our glove before we try and move. Patchwork glove, confirm. There we go. Another glove for our other hand. And now I think we should, th oh, hang on. No, wear it. There we go. Now I think that we should have a condition that we get from that. But either way, that's, that's good. And hey, we are getting an okay amount of food this way. Use it, it goes up a tiny bit there. And we've still got water. I think I'm okay with us moving on. We'll be leaving a few of these things behind. I suppose we could bring the hides with us because worst case scenario, we could sell them to someone or we might even find another use for them. So let's start to head on over in the direction of where this dogman's corpse was and we'll just offer a ceasefire yet again and we'll see. I, I say corpse, it is a corpse. Okay, good, good. Well, I hope you don't mind us going to work here. Meat and hide from a dogman. So that's yet another coat that we can get. If we could find a way to keep that and sell it, I mean, it's 200. That would be fantastic. That's also just so much meat as well. If we could stay here for a little while and preserve that meat, if we could sell that back to the DMC, that could be very, very good. I mean, the condition of this is obviously better already. Our own is still in really good condition, but carrying it, well, the only way that we could really do that is just by, yeah, carrying it in our hand. I think we'll probably do that for the time being, just so we're not leaving it on the ground. And we'll have a look at making our, ourselves a campfire here. Ah, next turn. Oh, hello. You had a rifle. We're going to offer a ceasefire here. Um, so, we've got someone rocking a blue sash, carrying around a rifle. We'll stay close to the DMC guards. They should, theoretically, help keep us safe here. We can't rely on that, of course, but let's, let's hope that they do. So, we got our medium campfire. Now, I'm relatively sure that we can get ashes from pretty much anything from burning it in the campfire here. The question is, what would we want to burn? I mean, we do have the two hides that we don't necessarily need at the moment. Oh, it's just going to make another tiny campfire. Or alternatively, we can get some ashes this way. I tell you what, we're just going to cook some of the food to begin with. That's going to be food for us. But then we're going to try and preserve other lots of it. Yeah, let's go medium. I'd say that's probably going to be enough food for us for a while. Yeah, the value's 45 just as is. The medium stuff is worth a fair amount and we get a lot of hunger from it too. That's good. We'll stash this one away for now, but um, we might even just be able to chuck wood in the fire and potentially get some ash over time. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but you know what? That's fine. I'm okay with us getting ashes this way and then we can just stoke the fire just like so. So after doing that a few times, we do have some ashes to potentially cure some of this meat. And that's going to be worth 56. And it only uses two ashes each time. Now I don't know whether or not the meat can stack, but I'm going to try. So we do have one more chunk that we can do. So let's go back to our campfire, get some more ashes, and then we'll stoke the campfire yet again. And then cure some more of that meat. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't stack. So let's try and position it as best we can we can get three in the plastic bag we can fit another here and you know what these small pieces of meat they're really not worth that much but i don't know if we could fit that there oh and <laughs> i just chucked some clean rags on our face just under the gas mask and uh we seem to be pretty happy with that we do have the filter as well but i'm only going to chuck that in when i think we're going to need it because otherwise we're just going to burn through it really quickly yeah, you know what, I, I think what we're going to do is we are going to check the time of day. It is day at the moment. It's taken us a while to get up here already. I don't think there's much point in us heading back just yet. I think we keep the food that we've made so far and we keep exploring with what we've got. There is a kind of more of a city square over here. I think that's what we're going to start to try and work towards at the moment. And I don't want to, I don't want to overeat. I suppose we could try and leave some of these things here and come back, see if we're, you know, good. Just walking around the, the fur coat though, doesn't seem like a great plan. No, you know what? We're going to be lined back. It's going to take us a while to do it, but I think that's the best move for us right now. Because once we have credits, then, you know, we, we know we're good. It's going to take us a bit, but I'm confident that we can make it. We just need to be wary of the other strangers that are out here. Okay, I think we might start trying to run. We are already tired, but I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get a little bit more 
distance this way. We're already starting to lose light. I think no matter what, we're just going to kind of keep on trying to push on. Oh dear. And now it's proper dark. That is unfortunate. We are close though, so it's going to take us a while to make our way in these conditions, but you can do it, Philip. Just keep on going. Moving through the rain, the cold, we are nearly there. Oh wow, and it's dawn by the time we get back. <laughs> unfortunately, we were moving like the whole night to get here. So we're parched, we're weary. I think we might have to do a little bit of recovery before we try and head back out into the world. Yeah, let's see what they've got at the market anyway. They've got a gun for 600 and a number of gas masks too. And a perfect condition boot. It's kind of tempting. Matching boots, wow. Well, we're gonna be selling army because I think no matter what, we're going to be able to get, you know, value from other places. The last chance canteen's pretty good from what we've seen. These chunks of meat, uh, is it worth us selling? I think we're just gonna, we're gonna hold on to them. And let's go drink some of our water too. Uh, we'll do it away from here. But yeah, those medium pieces of meat, they're decent, decent value. Okay, our thirst has been slaked. We are gonna have to load up on water yet again before we try and go anywhere else. And you know what? We're actually gonna sell off these lockpicks because we don't have lockpicking as a skill. So I don't think we're actually gonna be able to use them for anything. So, <laughs> back to the water we go. Oh, and there's, <laughs> there's so much ash at our old campsite here. Okay, and now we are weary, but I think we are still gonna go out as is. We'll sleep when we, you know, need to. Oh, and our plastic bag just fell apart. So that is something that can happen. Okay, good to know. <laughs> so having a look at our map, we started going northwest. We didn't really find too much. Maybe we head along directly west, kind of along the bottom of the map. The only kind of fear that I have in doing that though is we did see something weird down there, closer to the swamp, you know? Yeah, that's the way we're going to go. And I will make sure that I start checking squares where possible, where we see that the little box icon is there, because it means that there is something. But yeah, further south still. And oh, there is apparently something here. Let's search the area. It's a deer. Okay. Oh, I also just realized we didn't sell our coat. Um, weapon that we have right now is punch, and that's it. We can find deer. That's really good to know. Um, we're just going to retreat for now. We're going to leave the deer we're gonna let the deer be and we're gonna make our way back and sell our damn dog coat yeah now hmm let's sell the one that we've been using that's a good amount of money that we've got we could we could buy a pistol very very nearly but i think we'll just stick with what we what we got for now actually i want to have a spear again so what we're going to do is we're going to take this whiskey bottle because i want to try and keep these ones for our water and we are going to do some crafting back out in the woods. We'll head to our little spot here. And you know what? It might end up being later in the day. <laughs> By the time we're done. And hello, I'm going to offer you a ceasefire. Oh, okay. Or not. They just got shot. The stranger died due to acute, acute bleeding in the lungs. Okay. Yeah, they, they tangled with the DNC guard. And they left some things. They sure did. It's only eight... It's not, it's not in good condition. That's a proper backpack though. That's a proper backpack. We can, oh, we can. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, this, does this change things? We're gonna sell that caster wheel. We've got a rifle shoulder strap as well. And a bow, a bow, a bow with a strap, which I'm guessing goes with the crowbar goes. Yeah, it does. Okay. Or alternatively, I guess we could wear it on the other shoulder maybe, but then that would be where the backpack is. Yet again, um, I do wonder if the bow might just be better value selling. Uh, we can sell the binoculars as well, so let's put them on in, in, into here. This is this is all fantastic stuff, and these chips are just good to good to go. Let's uh, let's eat your chips. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the shoes are in okay kind of quality. The jeans are worth an okay amount as well. Oh, and that boot's really decent. We'll pop you on, thank you. I mean, the body's right here, so we can just go back and forth and sell a few things. Yeah, I, th I think we'll probably stick with our melee for now. So we're going to be selling off the bow. As terrible of an idea as that might be. Hang on, you had a hospital gown on. And a blue frog sash. Mm, I see. Let's take that lighter out of there for now. 
We'll keep one for ourselves, and then we'll come back for these other bits and pieces, I think. Back to the market <laughs> with some more goods to pass on. And uh, yeah, we're starting to get that those credits back up there. Caster will be getting rid of you for now. And the rifle shoulder strap, same deal. And I suppose we could fill all those up with water, have that be our water supply just in general, and then everything else will leave as free space. Because I feel like that's a good amount of bottles, really. Yeah, there we go, a bit more organized. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do down here is get some shards. And so supposedly by breaking apart the bottle, we get 100% condition shards, which that's great. That's what we're gonna want. Now we're gonna go and see if we can make ourselves a nice broad spear. And making sure that it's using good condition shards, it is. We have a decent broad spear now, which we won't equip right the second because I'm gonna go back and get some more equipment, but we have got that done. Oh, now where did he die? I thought it was here. There's nothing on the ground. Hmm, okay. Uh, his body's gone, so they might have moved it on. Well, all right then. Yeah, I, I think we're probably gonna be spending the night here, and I'm definitely okay with that. We're gonna load up in water again, so we'll probably end up keeping this for us, and we're gonna sell all of these and the bottles. And it's night as we roll into the junk market to sell off the rest of our stuff here. And you know what, I think we'll keep some of the glass bottles, just so that we've got them. We can turn them into shards if we need to. And do we want to spend 50 credits on a new shoe? Well, it's going to be a little bit of a discount because we are getting some of those credits back, but that's a really good conditioned boot. It's going to last us a good long while. I am happy with that. Nearly 600 credits. Good job, Phil. So we're going to be heading over to the parquet to make sure that we can get a decent sleep tonight. And, you know, we'll stop by the last chance canteen in the morning, have our last proper meal before we head out again. Yeah, we'll just be going for the pickup. And what a campsite it is. Our alertness is not going to be great. We could try and make something to protect us. Noise trap, but I think we need a better sleep more than anything. Let's just hope that everything's still there in the morning. And we wake up. Having a look at our inventory, I don't think we're missing anything. Make sure that we take our sleeping bag out of there. All right, and onwards towards the canteen. We'll stop by the junk market though, just to check it out, see if there's anything like a perfectly good backpack. So this one's in 71% condition. I'm fine with getting 32, or spending 32 rather. Also having a look at the multi-tool, I think I want that multi-tool as well. So I'm just gonna shuffle things from one side to the other. And we're going to be selling that backpack and picking up a proper condition one. Hire Poppy, children's backpack. Of course, yeah, we want that knife. Supposedly we can fold the knife up, so I'll have a look and see if there's a crafting recipe that we can do with that. And I kind of almost always want to have a disposable shopping bag if I can, because we can always chuck away our spear and just carry something else in our, in our hand, a bag that is. Oh, let's just store it in the soup can for now. There we go. Okay. On towards the canteen now and we are going to be having let's see yeah the mixed veggie bowl very nice it does have flavor to it we'll, we'll go for one more helping all right let's see what we can do here putting that into there um okay can we we don't seem to be able to fold it yeah if there is a way to do that i'm not sure exactly how maybe we'll learn in time for now, Philip, let's keep on keeping on. And I don't think we want to get too close to the swamp down here. We'll just be kind of sticking on the outskirts where possible, just making our way along here, seeing what we can find, what things of interest, checking for items like this. Hey, and there's actual whiskey in there? Interesting. The glass bottles can store more whiskey than they can water. I have tried to put more water in them in the past, and it hasn't let me. So maybe whiskey just fits better. Damn, it's worth a, it's worth an okay amount. We'll kind of keep that there then. Not bad. But yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do much in the way of scavenging here. Have a look at this abandoned office tower. Yeah, it's got to be pretty terrible. Even so, I will be having a look on the squares where there are things, like random berries that we're not going to be eating. And carrying on further, we do have some more towns down here. Well, I say towns. Not really towns, and I still think that they're probably close enough that they're not going to have anything kind of good going on. Even so, we push on. And we're already starting to get a little thirsty today, 
So we'll be knocking back some of that water and then seeing if we can find anything else out of the ordinary along here. All right, I think we probably will end up checking this place here. We're a little bit further away. It's a locked storage shed. Get past the lock. Yeah, I mean, we'll try and force our way past it. Okay, the chance for loot here is actually good. Keep an eye out for traps with trapping. We can use our strength to get further through. And then a light source should increase the safety even further from what we've got at the moment. Uh, yeah, it makes us very visible. But we did find some things in there. Oh, crowbar with a strap. 92% uh, <laughs> condition though. Better than the one that we're currently using. And yet another lighter, so we'll be <laughs> doing okay for light sources. We've got a destroyed office building that we can have a look at. The loot here, not good. Using strength does lower the quality, the safety, by a, a significant margin, so I don't think it's worth it. Even so, it does seem like there are some looting opportunities in the towns around here, so yeah, we'll keep our eye out for them. Getting hungry as the sun is getting low. That metabolism of ours is working hard, and hey... There we go, we'll get working towards you. And while we're here, we will grab some water. Push on a little further, we'll wait this turn. And then let's see what we got going on here. Okay, <laughs> JT Smooth, UVD case. It's not really worth much. Let's empty that out. I mean, it's a 40 cents CD, UVD. Uh, yeah, not that useful. We do have a newspaper though. US spies in Xinhua. U.S. citizen Roger McGill was killed by Xinhua protectors in Zhongguangkong, Beijing, Saturday, after allegedly infiltrating an unmarked office tower. McGill is suspected of being a CIA operative after the Xinhua government investigation. When asked at Monday's White House press conference, administration representatives deny the allegations. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, well, the, the, the sun is starting... Oh, no! The sun is starting to get low and our cardboard box just fell to pieces. That's rather unfortunate. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and put everything in our actual backpack here. Keeping the whiskey on the other end. Or up the top, maybe. That has uh, vastly reduced our current carrying capacity. I should have had a closer look at that box, really. Well, we haven't lost our ability to carry much. And we do have a plastic bag, which should work for a little while. Let's just drink some water and carry on a little bit further before we decide to rest. Yeah, okay. Now is when we're really starting to slow down because of the light. So we'll probably be staying in this forest tonight. Dangerous as that might be. So let's first spend our turn here hiding our tracks. I can still see them. <laughs> and there we go. It is proper night. So I don't know if we will be sleeping with a campfire going, but I wouldn't mind starting a campfire. Or just after we maybe try and scavenge. Let's see what the opportunities are like in here. Okay, we can potentially find some things. I would like to have a snare before we do any of this though. Alright, there we go. Got a snare. Now let's look at scavenging. We use our strength and we will use a light source. Making us very visible. Okay, we managed to get two squirrels. We're gonna have to wait a turn. Getting thirsty. But let's get them butchered. Get ourselves a medium campfire going and let's roast that meat. Yeah, we managed to get two pieces of meat tonight. <laughs> as much as I want to keep the campfire going, I think we probably will try and extinguish it just to make our sleep that little bit safer. All right, noise trap. There we go. And let's see what the camp is going to be like. Yeah, we're going to be camping in the woods rather than any old spot using our sleeping bag and the noise trap. So it's really not much shelter we're getting here. Oh, hey, better than out in the open. And we wake up, well rested, ready to continue our day. Make sure we take our things back, drinking some water to get started for the day, and then pushing on. Oh, there was just another, are you kidding me? We just found a totally good sleeping bag hanging out here, just left on the ground. <laughs> okay, that's a surprise. That's an even bigger surprise. Okay, so, a dog man. Condition strong. It is strong, we are tough. What do we want to do here? It can see us, okay. We could try and take cover. It's 27 away from us. I think the fact we've already been seen, probably not great. 25, okay. We're behind cover at the moment. 
It's going to take a while before it can get towards us. Yeah, I don't think we're just going to be able to straight up hide. Honestly, a retreat might not be a bad idea. And then seeing if we can attack it from being hidden. The main thing that we want to try and do is see if we can get it with a lure. But this thing could potentially tear us into pieces. It is a great opportunity for us to earn some extra cash, for sure, but yikes. Okay, let's try and retreat. We can. Okay, we can get back. Now, I wonder if we can get into here, hide our tracks. Okay, we're not hidden though. Okay, so, <laughs> something is here. Terrain is treacherous at the moment. I'm going to get cover, or take cover here, and we're not going to do a blind attack. We are just going to try and search, and we're going to continue searching until we find whatever is here. Okay, oh boy. Player fell to the ground and is exposed. The dogman just tackled us to the ground. We have to wait a turn. We can try and get up. Okay, the dogman has already gotten up. We're going to try and see if we can pull it down to the ground. The dogman's armor was barely affected. We managed to get it on the ground. We're both fallen right now. It's gotten back up again immediately. I think the only thing we can try and do is get back up. It is going to have a chance to attack us here, and that could be bad. Okay, we got up. We're currently considered to be blind. That's not great. We need to try and get a bit further away from it right now. It is considered vulnerable though. Okay, tackling it to the ground is probably not a great plan. If we can move even a bit further away, that would be good. High chance of tripping on terrain. And the terrain is treacherous right now. I think we just try and fall back. Okay, we managed to do that. It's still vulnerable. It tries to attack us, but misses. Exploit weakness. Seeks a weakness to exploit the target. Helping with future attacks. Must see the target. We can see it. If we can get back a little bit further, I think we'll be good. But at the same time, maybe we just get an attack. Okay, we're both bleeding. Stunned and bleeding. And we're in a considerable amount of pain. But here we go. We've got an opportunity. We can try and lure it using the environment. And there we go. We got it vulnerable, but recovering. I think we could try and go in with the melee surge now. It is dangerous though. Maybe just a straight up attack is enough to do it. We attack, severe pain, stunned, coughing blood. Okay, but we are bleeding too. Intimidate, no, none of that. It's stunned, so I think we could go in for a melee surge. We do, and I don't know how good it was. We need to wait before we can react again. It's fallen. The dog man is not doing good. It tried to tackle us to the ground and it failed. Kick the target while they're down. Chance to injure them plus a chance to kind of keep them on the ground for now. I think we surge again. We've got them in a we've got a good opportunity. It's trying to get back up off the ground. Okay. And it is trying to fall back now. Okay. That's good. This is good. We're just going to do a regular attack at this point. We got it vulnerable. It's fallen. It's unconscious. Check body for loot. We're just going to kick it while it's down. We don't want to do any more um, unnecessary damage to our weapon. So I think we've kicked it. <laughs> um, unconscious shock. It is dying. It is dying. I, and I, I don't know how damaged we are. We will be able to find that out. Let's just attack for now. And there we go. We got it. We can see a stranger in the distance. But we just killed a dog band in the wild. Not in a in an encounter thing. We are bleeding though, let's see how bad. Oh boy, that's a significant cut. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. We need to deal with that now. Um, right, so let's try and cover that up. We are still bleeding. Um, okay, uh, this will be fine. It'll be fine, don't worry about a thing. This is gonna, it's gonna work out okay. 92% uh, condition, that's decent, that's good. That did go better than I was kind of expecting it to, really. We've still got some moves left this turn, so we're going to do something with those moves. We're going to skin this dog man for everything it's worth. And we're going to grab that fur coat right away and place that there. We're going to keep these rags on the side here, still bleeding. Yeah, not surprised. Severe cut, severe pain. We don't have those pain pills anymore. Okay, we're just going to have to end our turn here and see what happens. What are you doing? You're staying over there. We're thirsty right now. Um, and we might still be bleeding. We aren't. Okay, that's something. Oh boy. Well, let's try and deal with our hunger and our thirst. First of all, there we go. We're gonna have to start a fire here. Um, we could try and preserve a ton of this meat. 
but as to whether or not we'd be able to get it back it's certainly possible this this is not a bad way for us to earn cash i mean even just carrying the meat back as is not even preserved we'd have to get it back like today that's the thing though and we're definitely going to want to sell off one of these uh bags and as much as i like our spear we could just drop that and then just take the meat in a plastic bag for now that's not a terrible idea and then we just buy cheaper food that is less good for us let's empty that out for now 100% condition disposable bag. That sounds good to me. Let's see how much meat we can stack in here. We can get three. So that's cl close to 150. We could actually cook the meat on the other end and see how that works out for us. Well, that's where we stand after that. Without a defensive tool, which I'm not super happy about, we just have to kind of try and run. We are currently burdened as well. Okay, have to take that into account. Maybe we can't afford to take everything that is pretty heavy it's it's two kgs each of each piece of meat is, is three kgs okay that's gonna slow our movement rate i really want to try and see if we can bring it all with us I, i'm gonna try we are we are gonna try we are gonna have to leave bottles and other bits and pieces behind but i think it's worth the potential value that we can get here we just don't want to encounter um anyone like that yeah now oh, we do have some feral dogs out here. Okay, so that's... <laughs> we have to go all the way back. Damn, that's a bit of a journey. I think we probably will end up trying to cook the meat overnight. At least that seems like that's probably going to be the case. We'll push on. We'll go as far and as fast as we can. Oh, crap. Okay, we've got another dog, man. That's not good. Not great. Weak with hunger. Malnourished. Means that we have less... Uh, movement available to us so let's just continue moving away for now i believe we are currently being tracked by this dog man oh boy okay so what are we going to do about that i think we need to get a little bit further north if we can i honestly think running right now might be the best course but we can't actually do that it seems and our clean rag has fallen apart that's not the one that's on our face at the moment it's this one here moderate cut moderate pain okay we'll go ahead and put a fresh one on and we'll just leave the dirty one behind for now. Keep pushing on, Philip. No stopping. The sun is starting to get low. Philip is tired. We'll make it as far as we possibly can before we need to rest. Oh boy. And that's that. That's as far as we're gonna make it. Okay, so we are gonna have to cook this overnight and we're probably gonna have to eat some of it too to stay uh, alive. <laughs> Medium campfire, there we go. And let's first of all look at just cooking up some of the meat. Roast meat medium, there we go. And we'll have a munch on that and just see how, how much it does for us. Wow, it does heaps. Fantastic, we're feeling really good after that. We'll drink some of our water too, put the rest of that back in there. Okay, we're tired, we're burdened. We've lost some blood, but in general, I think we're doing okay in that department. Now, we're just gonna work on trying to preserve some of this meat. So I'm just kind of going backwards and forwards between stoking the fire to letting it extinguish so that we can work up some ashes. And then we are going to be curing that meat over the fire. And our clean rags have fallen apart yet again, this time on our leg. Get some fresh ones on there. And you know what, if we have some time in the morning, we could always try and boil, clean those rags. But for now, we're just focusing on trying to stop this meat from going off. This might be another one of those scenarios where we end up uh, working through most of the night. <laughs> And that is all of the meat cured. Oh man, the vo the value of it goes down significantly. I assumed that cured meat would be worth so much more because it's cured. But this is only worth 13 as opposed to like the 50 that it was worth before. Damn, okay, well, now we know that. And going off of that, no, we still need to sell the coat. <laughs> well, let's just go and make our alarm and try and see if we can get some sleep. All right, Forrest, show us what we got. Let's use the campfire here as well if we can. There we go. Let's sleep. And we had trouble falling asleep. So let's give that another shot. Yet again. And this is our insomnia kind of kicking in here. Sounds like it's morning. We did actually fall asleep there. So I think we might have slept through. Oh no, we're, we're just at the morning now. Oh, it's the condition of the meat. That's why it's not worth much. Ah, I see. Well, we're going to eat one of those and we'll keep on going. So I think if we cured it sooner, it would have stopped the condition of it dropping down as far as it did. So lessons learned. All right. Well, let's continue on. Okay. Oh boy. 
Dogman kept on going the other direction. That's that's a good thing. And look at that. We are we're nearly there. We're nearly back. Dying of thirst. Yeah, we we need to do something about that. You know what? I think we'll probably stop by the last chance canteen and we will get a drink on the way in. Actually, in saying that, empty that out. That is sterilized. Okay, so we're just parched now. We can get our own thirst sorted. But first, junk market. What do you got? You got a tactical boot. I think that these boots are perfectly fine. We're going to stick with the ones that we've got for now. But we are going to be selling off the meat that we have here. Man, it's not worth much, is it? It really isn't. I mean, it's worth more to us because, you know, we can consume it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's the condition. That is very unfortunate. Well, we do still have some good stuff to sell off here. We're at 800 now after that. So that, that's still something. We can get five for selling off that piece there. And then, hey, corner cola. Only three dollars. We will take that. Thank you. And we'll take the other one as well. We'll drink one of those right now. And I think we'll probably just sell off the rest of the meat. It seems like a big waste, but what can you do? Oh, and having a look at the berries here, black and blue. Yeah, black and blue. Edible. So if we see black and blue berries out in the wild, I would be okay giving them a shot, I think. Let's eat a little bit more. Oh, that actually dehydrated us because, of course, it's cured. Right, well, just get rid of the rest. We're sweating. We're dehydrated. I think let's go have a meal. Heading over to the last chance canteen. We're actually towards the end of the day here, it seems. Sweet and sour seagull wings. Now that sounds okay. Our hunger is totally fine though. That's the So we're just gonna Are we gonna buy are we really gonna No. I mean yeah, we de we're dehydrated now, so we'll we'll do it. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and drink it. And then hey, look at that. We got a free bottle. Oh, and of course the whiskey. We need to sell that off. So back here, we will just empty that out, keeping the bottle, but selling the contents. And now, my lad. Let's head on over towards that patch of water. Would you look at that? Our little campfire's still going there. That's some nice sterilized water that we are just gonna slurp down. I think we're probably gonna drink the whole lot that we've got here. Yep. And the evening is upon us. Yet again, we'll be sleeping in the back of that pickup. Just the sleeping bag tonight. Rest your head. Oh dear. And we are seriously sick somehow. Our skin is starting to take on a bluish tint. Diarrhea and vomiting. Dying of thirst. That's not good. Let's get over towards the forest real fast. By our flame. And oh boy, yeah, we managed to rest, but our dehydration is terrible right now. We need to get some water going fast. And we'll be drinking that right away before we try and make any more. Okay, well, that helped a little bit. Cholera. At some point, we must have consumed water that wasn't good. You know what? It could have been the stuff from the canteen. It's the first bit of water that we haven't sterilized ourselves. Damn it. Trying to go for that little bit of convenience? We're fighting off an infection. That's not good. Weakened immune system. I think we're going to have to go into the city. I think we're going to have to spend some of our hard-earned money here to save Philip's life. But that, Legionnaires, is going to be in the next episode. We made some headway and we lost ground too. The fur from those dogmen are valuable. But you know, it's risky. That fight could have gone very bad for us. And now, in getting back here and taking a drink from a not so reputable source has led Philip to feeling like absolute death. Let's just not let him reach the end of that, eh? Legionnaires, I ask you, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. Long may your scavenging days continue, Philip. It's not over yet. We will beat this. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay awesome.